So I'm here in a rental house and you can see these walls look pretty rough. So what I'm gonna do is not paint the entire wall. That would be a lot of work. I'm just gonna touch it up. So I wanna show you how I'm gonna do that. As I look for any major holes, obviously do you see this hole? You do, and I'm going to put a patch on this wall. So we're gonna patch this booger up. And I'm gonna look for any other little spots that I wanna fill in like that. Any other spots? A couple of nails we might wanna pull out and Okay guys, after you've gone around and you've puttied up the holes, we're now going to get a sample of this color, and we're going to use this sample to take the Sherwin-Williams, and we're going to get an exact match. So the way I like to do it is I have just a regular knife, and what you're going to do, generally you don't want to do it at eye level, because that's where most people are going to be looking. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm not going to go all the way through the drywall. I'm just going to cut off the very top surface. It's almost like a tape. And I just sort of slowly work it out so that I still have sheetrock in the wall. I just want to get that top color. I'm going to take this to Sherwood Williams and get a match. sheetrock mud, all purpose, and I just get a big glob out, rub it on. I'm sure there are neater ways of doing this. Okay, I'm on my way to Sherwin-Williams. I bet my face does not look good this close to the camera. Okay. Okay, I am leaving Sherwin Williams. I just got my four gallons of Promar 200 flat. And for the closet, I'm gonna do a little bit of touch up in the closet. I got Property Solutions. This is not the high quality, but we don't really need it for a closet. Um, what else I wanted to show you? Right here is the match. So, can you see the match on there? So he painted the match on the very edge over here. So that's going to look good enough that when we put it on the walls, you, you won't be able to see it. Let's head back. Okay guys, I'm back in the house. And as if you remember, this is where I took the sample out of the wall. And this was where the hole was. So, uh, so I went and got my Sherwin Williams match. They took this little piece, they did a match, and now let's see if it blends in the wall. I want you to get an idea of what everything looks like on this wall. There's some drawing, some pencil marks, there's the hole, and here we go. All right, let's hope for the magic to work. sides of these walls, but I'm going to leave this part undone, and we'll just see how good the match goes in. So I will let this dry, and we'll come back to it. Okay, let's jump ahead a little bit. I just want to show you this, because when you do paint initially your paint on the wall, you can see that that has not been painted. I hope you can see this, but right now the paint is darker. Than, it, than the wall. 
My contention is that as it dries, it will fade away. So, we will wait. We will wait. I am a little concerned about this line. I wonder if I'm going to use this. Oh. Okay guys, was that fun to watch me paint? <laughs> so what you notice is I have not painted the whole wall. By not painting the wall, I don't have to charge as much money. Is it absolutely perfect? You probably can go in and find some errors. This isn't a high quality paint job. This is a touch up job. And we're gonna let this dry and I guarantee it, it'll look great. It'll look good enough for a rental property that you're gonna rent over and over and over. While we're waiting on this paint to dry, and I wish you could see it better, let's zoom into the kitchen. So uh, on this kitchen here, we did touch up paint. And if you get in close, you can see it's not an exact match with everything. So I'm just gonna go in with a brush and feather it in. What you're seeing here is I painted it with the roller last night, or yesterday. And today I'm just gonna get my little brush and I'm gonna fade it in. And it is a little awkward painting with a brush and holding the camera. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to... All right, let's just kind of we're gonna fill in this place now. And this is the after of the kitchen touch-up paint, so you can see how good it does look now. The lighting's not the best, I know, but. Yeah, that will do the trick. Okay, let's do the after of my touch-up paint. Let's take a look at the wall. Wow, that looks pretty good. Okay guys, thank you for watching our video on how to do touch-up paint. Let's review real quick. When you come in the house, cut a little sample off the wall. Take that sample of Sherwin Williams, or any paint company, I, I just like Sherwin Williams. Have them do a match for you, and then come back and paint the wall. Don't paint the whole wall, but I do recommend maybe putting the paint lines above the side of your eyesight and that'll help it blend in and create that illusion that the wall has been painted. And that's a great way to offer your customers a cheaper paint job. I can do the full paint job for X amount, I can do a touch up paint job for this amount. So that's a great thing you can do. Or if it's your own home, you probably don't have to paint the whole thing. Just do some touch up paint. All right guys, for more tips, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time on how do I clean? Which today?